assalamu alaikum guys uh, welcome to another lecture uh, in the last lecture we discussed the modeling of uh, these three connections the corner one the center one and the base plate connection let us go through them one by one this was the first connection the corner one having one uh, tie beam and uh, rafter at one end similarly the second one the center connection had tie beams at both ends and this was uh, modeled as moment connection the connection of member b and uh, column c and the remaining two tie beams were modeled as shear connection and the last the base pair connection uh, was modeled as moment connection as well so today we are going to assign the member forces on the main rafter and the tie beams and see whether our structure is passing or not so there are actually two kind of uh, approaches we can do this in two ways uh, the first one which is easier for uh, this case only because we have considered only gravity loading uh, so I'm just going to discuss that for now and we will leave the second uh, or the second approach for the uh, later lectures where we will consider the later loading the wind loading and the seismic loading as well so for now let us display the member forces uh, press F8 on your keyboard and uh, we already know that in gravity loading the governing combination is UDS TL2 which is 1.35 dead plus 1.5 live load so if I select this combination and click on moment M3 which is the major moment so we can right click on any member and see what is the maximum moment or what is the maximum moment at the end locations so we can get these values from uh, these graphs if I click on this tie beam we can see the member forces against uh, this combination but before going into uh, the assignment of forces uh, we should be clear about what these notations stand for in idea statica uh, it shows uh, the first column shows uh, the force N which is actually the axial force or the normal force in the member which is along the member the second one is the shear force in the Y axis which is actually the minor shear the horizontal shear then VZ is the major shear force which is in the major direction or the vertical direction then MX is the uh, torsion in the member and my is the major moment and mz is the minor moment so let us apply the moment values on these on this rafter first so if i click on this member we can see that at the end at this end if you move the cursor we can see in the sap model uh, a red dot is shown so if i pull it right uh, to the end we can see that the mem uh, the maximum moment at this joint is 56.14 and uh, but make sure that your units are uh, as per idea statica model here we can see that in sap the units are kilonewton meter in idea statica our units are kilonewton meter as well so these units need to be consistent 56.14 okay this is the moment value then the maximum shear at this joint is 48.76 which I'm going to enter in this VZ minus 48.76 okay the remaining values which are uh, the normal force we can enter the normal force if you click on axial it is minus 15.472 so I'm going to enter minus 
as axial force in my member okay now these forces are applied in the main rafter or the member b of idea statica for the corner connection i'm going to right click my tie beam and if since we released our moment uh, in the tie beam so it will be zero at the ends so we just need to enter the shear force value in our m3 member which is the tie beam member so the maximum shear is 3.164 so let us select this member and enter minus 3.164 and for axial i'm going to select axial force and it is minus 2.43 so minus 2.43 okay now the forces are applied to calculate the or to analyze this connection now we have to click on this calculate button at the top and it will take a few seconds and now uh, we can see the results here in this section analysis is 100% complete and the bolts are 87.7% utilized and the welds are 98.3% utilized so we can uh, the connection is passing we can either stay with it or we can do some minor adjustments uh, we can increase the weld size can let's just change the web weld to 6 and run it again you can always check the uh, calculations and details in this tab check tab similarly you can click on this bolts tab click on the plus button to see the calculations similarly for welds you can click on the plus button and see the weld calculations so this uh, connection is okay let us move to the next one okay to design the second connection i am going to reassign the same forces we did in uh, the first one okay now the forces are applied now let us run the analysis okay analysis is 100% uh, complete uh, we can also generate the design report from this tab and you can always click on these options whether you want detailed calculations or the calculations for the extreme values let us click this option and refresh now once we have clicked on this option it will show the calculations of the extreme values which is 71.1 in this case with all the code references similarly for welds so the design is okay we can follow this connection in our design and we can draft the connection based on this design uh, for the base plate connection we need to see the member end reactions to display the reactions press F7 on the keyboard and again we are going to check against uh, the governing combination which is UDSTL2 let us see the tabulated form now here F3 is the reaction in Z direction F1 in X and similarly F2 in Y direction uh, M1 is moment about X 
m2 is the moment about y and m3 is the torsion which is about z axis so we are going to apply the forces now n is our uh, this f3 if we click on arrows we can see that this is 58.95 is actually positive in the upward direction but that is the reaction value we need to apply the member force now which will be in the opposite direction so i'm going to assign minus 58.95 this reaction 15.47 should be in this direction and the value in x is minus 0.02 we need to reverse the sign of the, uh, these uh, reaction forces in our ideostatic model then my value is uh, let me check 28.96 yeah this is the moment in this direction the major moment and the minor moment is minus 0.04 so i'm going to input 0.04 now all the forces are applied uh, click on calculate now these two bolts are failing the bolts are 165.5 percent utilized the welds are passing but we can always change the weld size let us keep it as 6 mm and we can choose either we can keep the bolt as m16 and increase the anchorage length to 200 we can also use the washer plate at the end and rerun the analysis still these bolts are failing so i'm going to change the anchorage length to 250 Uh, go to check anchors uh, the tensile resistance is ok ok so uh, this anchor is failing in uh, breakout concrete breakout resistance this means that the uh, footing dimension is not sufficient but uh, in the actual scenario it will be sufficient if we provide enough confinement to uh, these anchor rods but uh, ideostatica does not take into account the reinforcement so let us just increase the offset of this foundation block if we keep it as 250 and rerun the analysis uh, it has reduced but let us say keep it as 300 calculate again okay now anchors are passing this means that if we provide enough uh, confinement to our pedestal uh, then the anchors will pass you can also change the grade of concrete by adding another material let's say you if you change it to C 32 32 40 then uh, definitely it will improve with less offset as well okay so i hope you have understood this lecture if you have any comments or queries you can always comment below in the video and uh, this was just a minor or you can say a basic tutorial on how to apply the forces uh, once we are in the detailed design or once we are uh, including the lateral forces like wind and seismic in our model then the combinations also increase and it is not easy to judge that which combination is the governing combination so in that case we are going to extract the forces using tables uh, which we are going to cover in the upcoming lectures i hope to see you soon take care and allah